What's up guys, today we have a review of a Erector set. Um, I'm pretty sure the brand is Erector itself. Um, um, anyways, this is the Erector brand. Um, now, this is mostly metal parts except for some plastic parts. I'll get into that in a second. Um, this is the electric one. Now, the electric aspect of it it is, um, sorry, one of the bolts is coming out. Uh, I'll get into that in a second as well. But, um, let's try to tighten it. Uh, the electric aspect of it, it has an engine, um, in it that does not work at all. It literally cannot carry its own weight with full batteries. Um, so if you're getting this for that aspect of it, I do not recommend it because it is absolutely pointless. You might as well use another engine that has more torque because it looks pretty fast when you're using it without it plugged into a wheel or whatever. But then when you put it in, it doesn't work um, very well at all. Now, um, I made like a battle vehicle, I guess you could say. Um, it is, uh, let's see, it's made out of mostly metal four wheels um side armor here same on the other side um protection on the uh, protection on the uh the, sorry about that the uh top all the way across and it has that blade right here in the front this is what it would look like if you're looking at it from the front um it has a blade down here um and if you look at it from underneath, um, it has some uh, tire protection down here, tires, and it has two blades right there. Uh, now, originally, because of all the blades, I it was a lawnmower, believe it or not. Um, but that was a while ago, and I picked it up again as of like yesterday. And I thought I might as well change it into a cooler looking thing. Oh, I also have this bomb that I made. It's not really a bomb. It's just like four pieces screwed together. But um, anyways, uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, if you're really bored and you have a lot of time to kill, um, yeah, it it comes with a good amount of pieces. This is pretty much all of the pieces. But this is a heck of a lot of pieces. I have to say, um, built into this thing. Um, now a couple problems with this thing, um, the bolts come out because they do not lock or hold themselves in, so that's why I was tightening them before, because they will come out just from you using it, not even using it like hardcore, but just like, you know, moving it around and whatnot, they will unscrew, which is a major problem because it almost always needs maintenance. Um, now, uh, another cool slash problem is, um, the plastic, it breaks pretty easily, like, it can't bend very much, um, that's what I've just noticed, I've already broken, like, three pieces, but anyways, um, overall, this thing is pretty amazing, I got this for 30 bucks at, uh, it's a place called Dave Ho Wholesales. Um, it's an outlet store. But, um, yeah, overall, it's pretty awesome. Uh, if you're going to buy it for the motor, I don't recommend it. But, um, yeah, it has a lot of pieces, enough to make a good amount of things. It comes with a manual book. It shows you how to make, uh, like, airplanes and cars. Um, but anyways, yeah, overall pretty cool. This is the awesome viewer of um, a review of the Erector set. I do not know what it is called. But um, uh, go check out Tackle Airsoft and Crazy Read. Comment, rate, subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day.